right here about behind you. Thank you for this worship experience. And now, God, we come to open up your book. This is the word of God that will clarify, edify, and glorify. Somebody needs to hear from you, Lord. Bless this word, God. We know it will not return unto you, Lord, but it will reach the target in which you have intended. Thank you for those who have joined us on social media from around the world. And we thank you, God, for now and forevermore. Let the people of God say amen. amen. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3. Stand on your feet for the reading of God's word. The doors of mine may have messed me up. I'm going to try to preach this morning, but I'm a little spiritually discombobulated. Amen. I'm a little drunk. Amen. The Lord will be my leading post. Verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not into thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. You may be seated in the presence of God. Have you ever been in a situation where you couldn't seem to find your way out? Yes. I want to speak to you this morning on the subject, God will make a way. Yes, he will. God will make a way. Have you ever been in a storm and didn't know why? Has anything ever happened to you and you didn't understand why? The message this morning is that in times of doubt or uncertainty, we can find strength in knowing that God can and that God will make a way. When we have found all that we can do, we must trust God to do the rest. First, I would like to applaud the commitment of this great congregation called Zion and all of its members be a pillar of the community and for standing on Christ, the solid rock, for 92 years. For, for, for 92 years of being a leaning post and a lighthouse to lost and weary souls. Zion has been a bright light in the midst of darkness and an open bosom to the brokenhearted. Can I get a witness? Or if there is one thing I know, it has not always been easy. It has not been a walk in the park or a walk on the beach. I know this because I overheard Job having a conversation. He was saying, you know God has been good to me. Real good. He said, but I found out that man that is born of a woman is of a few days. And he said that those days are full of trouble. So I know if the truth be told, Someone here knows there have been times when your body didn't feel like it could be. Am I talking to anybody? <laughs> but you pushed on anyway. There have been days of uncertainty, but yet you have pushed on anyway. Moments of discouragement, nights of despair. 
But it seems, sometimes it seems as though God is not listening. Can I get a witness? See, Solomon here in our text was warning us at the same time he was also encouraging us. The verse has a twofold meaning. It says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And it says, lean not unto thine own understanding. Solomon was saying, there are going to be times when it seems like the more you pray, the more you have to pray. There will be times when it seems as if you can see your vision in your dreams fading and drifting away. Sometimes it seems as if your dreams are on hold and your life has passed and gone. Solomon was telling us at the same time uh, and the same thing that God told Joshua. In the first chapter of Joshua, three times God warns and encourages Joshua at the same time. In verse 1, verses 6 and 7 and 9, God tells Joshua, be strong and be of good courage. Anytime God warns you of something three times, take heed. God would not tell you to be strong unless there was a need to be concerned. Not unless danger was close and evident. And as Nehemiah Anytime you attempt to do God's work and build a wall, the enemy is always busy. Can I get a witness? The enemy will get busy trying to destroy your character, your reputation, trying to slow you down. That's why Solomon said, lean not to your own understanding. He was saying, stop focusing on what you see. And don't listen to what you hear. If God has promised you something, even if you can't see how it is going to come to pass, even if you can't see when it is going to come to pass. But remember, Numbers 23 and 19, it says, God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Has he not said, and shall he not do it, or has he not spoken it, and shall he not make it good? In other words, the Lord will do just what he said he will do. I believe there is a mother on the motherboard who has said, Lord, all that I am and ever will be is yours. I believe there's a deacon here. I believe his life is be suffering. He who have made up in their mind, Lord, if no one else knows, I'll go. Yes. I believe that there's some ushers here at time who have said, Lord, I trust you. I'm going to stand when no one else will stand. I believe that there's a choir member who said, they may not sing my favorite song, but Lord, as long as you let me sing, as long as I have a voice, yes, I'm going to keep on singing for your glory. Amen. I believe that there's somebody in these pews here in Zion who have been holding on to a promise and you refuse to let it go. And sometimes it doesn't look like it is going to come to pass, but you have made up your mind. For God I live. Yes. And for God I die. Like Jacob, you said, Lord, I'm going to hold on to you until you bless me. I'm not letting go until you bless me. I'm holding on to all that I have. I can't go forward and I refuse to go backwards. Lord, even if I can't see what you are doing, I trust you. I trust you. Even though I can't understand everything all the time, but I trust you. Zion, if God made us a promise, you don't have to worry about it. Because a promise from God is better than money in the bank. It's not like any other promise you will ever receive. 
if the Lord says, it's 100% guaranteed. Come on, somebody. Uh, my first car came with a guarantee and a warranty. The man said, it'll run you for a long time if you just take care of it. Come on, somebody. I was in the Navy, had my first car, living on the, on the, on the base. Amen. By the time I got to the gate, the car was smoking. Call <laughs> somebody. Didn't even make it in the gate. I had to park the car outside the gate. The man said, <laughs> the man, the man said, it was going to run me for a long time. <laughs> And he thought going from the car dealership to the post was a long time. It was only about 15 minutes to go. But I found out that if I trust God, yeah. he will yes, he supply yes. all my needs yes, according to his riches and glory. Yeah, yeah. God does not know how to pay. Maybe I need to say that again. God does not know how to fail. Somebody said, from the rising of the sun until the going down of the same, the Lord's name is worthy to be praised. Heaven and earth will pass away, but his word will stand forever. The mountains will fail. The wind will cease to blow. The waters will dry up and the clouds will fall from the sky. But his word will stand forever. That is why I like the three Hebrew boys. If they were here today, just a lot this morning, I believe that they would say, we couldn't see our way out of our situation. And we couldn't see how God was going to do it. But we made up our minds that anything God puts us in, He can deliver us out. Somebody gonna shop right there, say amen. Somebody gonna be shop right there. You know you've been going through something, but I'm here to tell you something. If God can bring you to it, He can bring you to it. And if you're going through hell, keep going. And so we told the king, we know you are the king, and you have the power to throw us in the furnace. But there's one thing that we want you to know, that the God we serve is able to deliver us. But if he don't, we will still serve him. If he don't move this mountain, if he don't cool the fire, he is still able. Yeah. Turn to your neighbor, because somebody needs to know that's a neighbor. God is able. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. The person behind you didn't hear it. Turn that person behind you and say, person behind me, God is. Joe said, yet will I trust in him. Yeah. Watch this, but then he said, 
said, I will maintain my own ways before you. Job said, I'm going to keep on serving. Job said, if I die, he's able. If I live, he's able. But whatever happens, I'm going to trust him with all that I am and with all that I have. That is where some of us get lost. Paul said, I fought a good fight. Paul said, I finished my course. And I have kept the faith. That word kept doesn't mean like held on to. It means that I have guarded my faith. Because if the enemy wants anything from us, he wants your faith. Can I get a witness? He will take a trial, he will take a rejection, he will take an issue, he will take a trouble, he will take a sickness, he will take a disease and try to chip away at your faith. Can I get a witness? Uh, uh, Zion, you have to trust God. Even when it looks like all hell is breaking loose. You have to hold on with both hands with every breath that you have. Faith is not faith until it's been tested. Come on, Pastor. Faith is not faith until it's been tested. Trust isn't trust until God has allowed us to be tested. You have to go through something in order to get something. You got to go through something in order to get something. The reason why a lot of us find blessed the way we want to get blessed, amen. Because every any sign, first sign of trouble, we run to the hills. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Well, Mama used to say that if it don't kill you, it'll make you stronger. Can I get a witness? Anybody here been through some stuff? Come on, don't fool me. I ain't talking about a bad head day or a man told me I'm talking about throwing up some stuff, amen. When the doctor said he didn't know how you was gonna make it, or you didn't even know how you was gonna make it, but somehow you pulled through. Can I get somebody here? No matter what the dark, people walked away from you. Can I get away? People said they were gonna be with you and they walked away from you. Anybody ever been by yourself wondering what was gonna happen? Anybody know how to build? Anybody wondering how the bills was gonna get paid? But did the Lord work it out? Did the Lord make a way out of nowhere? Didn't the Lord put food on your table? Anybody ever been down for the last time? Didn't know how Duke Energy was going to get paid? But the lights are still on? Anybody was told you wasn't going to make it, but ain't you still here? Anybody was told you ain't never going to be nothing, but look at you now? I wish the Redeemer of the Lord would say something. I wish the Lord, who the Lord has blessed the Redeemer, would let the world know I've been redeemed, amen. I wish I'd somebody who struggled with a disease. Don't mind telling somebody, God is my healer. Come on, somebody. I wish somebody who's been in confusion. Don't mind telling somebody, he is your home for so long. He'll make a way out of nowhere because he did it for me. After 92 years, I am sure somebody here has a testimony. Somebody knows that God can and he will make a way. Somebody knows who to be an ever-present help in the time of trouble. I find out that God will promise you things that will cause you to become nervous. Trying to figure out how it will ever come to pass. God will show you things that will cause you to step a step back and to check to see who is that talking. <laughs> Me? You, 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 you going to do that to me? The, the, the rest that I am, I, I don't qualify. I, come on, somebody, I don't like talking in public. I'm, I get nervous even when people look at me too long and I don't like to be the center of attraction. But you're going to do that to me. Can I get a witness? Lord, I got to speak in impediment. God, I'm shy. But you said you was going to do that through me. 
don't trust them with lint in your wallet and in your pocketbook. Can you still trust them? Late in the midnight hour. When your burdens are heavy and weighing you down, can you still trust them? When you can't lift your head up, can you still trust them? When you are frustrated and can't see your way, can you still trust them? When your husband ain't acting right and you've been a good wife, can you still trust them? Down to your last time, when you're lonely and no one is there, can you still trust them? When the tears are running down your face, can you still trust them? When you can't stand any longer, can you still trust them? When deliverance doesn't come right away, can you still trust them? But I hear somebody say, I've been running for Jesus for a long time. And I'm not tired yet. I've learned to trust in Jesus. And I've learned to trust in God. Zion, somebody ought to shout. I don't believe he brought me this far to lead me. I've come too far to turn back now. Listen, Solomon said, lean not to your own understanding. Solomon was saying, you are not going to always understand why God is doing what he is doing. And you are not going to always see what God is doing. But know this, that God is moving. And he's moving people in your path. Yeah. And he's opening new doors and he's closing old doors. Yeah. Zion, God is not through with you yet. And the reason why some of us can't see the new door that God has opened because we're still staring at the old window that God has closed. Somebody, just put your hand on yourself and say, God is not through with me. We've been laying door for a night. But Joe has Somebody here knows that he will make a way. I know he can. I know he will because I tried it for myself. I know for myself he brought me out. He picked me up and he turned me around. And he placed my 